I am Red Cyclone! Daria! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of the It Gets Better I Swear podcast. I'm your host, Louis Beans, and I'm here with Merkel the Mike. What is going on? What is going on? I'll tell you what. what is going on, what shouldn't be going on. Season one and the only season, apparently. <laughs> I'm about to say, it's like it's the no, only no, season. No, 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 wait. According to Tubi, there's two seasons. Now, yeah. how many episodes is in season two? I don't know, but we'll find out. Shouldn't but anyway, be. what shouldn't be going on, Nightman. <laughs> it lives on. Thanks to you. You messed up. <laughs> you messed up, Mark. Yeah, I was bored of looking through Tubi and I saw it. I was like, oh, shit, he's going to love this. <laughs> Sent it to you. I mean, shout outs to Tubi yeah. because our last movie. Uh, hero superhero movie was on Tubi, so that's why I watched it. Same. Um, not spoiler alert. It's not great. It's not. I don't have the sen- I I really don't have the sense of humor for that movie. <laughs> I laugh at I mean, dumb I shit, get- but it wasn't too. It wasn't enough for me to laugh. Yeah, it, I think it needed a stronger protagonist, somebody better yeah. at being like the main character. Because like you think about a scary movie, like it, you almost everybody was just really, really, really talented. Yeah. Like from the the girl that was the main female lead, like she was really good at being wacky and silly. Yeah. Like, it, but still also keeping a straight face during some of the stuff because. It's, it's less like she was in on the joke and just like a victim of majority of the stupid stupidity. Yeah. But then it also had the Wayans, who were also yep. very funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this does not have that benefit. It has a lot of cameos, but when one of the recurring stars is what Stephen Hawkins is like. Yeah. You can only beat that horse so many times. Yeah. This is when the Wayans start stopped doing the scary movies and then. The scary movie three came out i think before this and then the, then we got this well it's you see the decline the oh god it was it was there um but before we get into that you want to know what i got for two dollars and 39 cents what's that so i was happened to be in walgreens and i found i saw the marvel legend century figure I hate the box. I, I really do. I do not like the windowless less boxes. But when I mark when I scanned it, I was gonna grab it for um, uh, Tenacious T's buddy. Like when next time I go over there to finish the cast that we were doing, um, like I don't like the windowless box. But when I scanned it, it was like two dollars and thirty nine cents. I was like, really? So I grabbed the rest of the the rest of them that they had on the shelf, which was like three of them. I sold one and made my money back easily. But um, yeah, I found Century for two dollars and thirty nine cents on Walgreens, and um, I made profit of one. I sold one for forty dollars. Why? Like, why are they? Do they have like special discounts on those figures? Nah, I think I think it's a digital like error and shit, and I I, I was able to benefit from it. Oh, it wasn't like. How old is that figure? New, it's brand new. Oh, so that yeah, that that was just a mistake. Then. I got. It. <laughs> it's not like it's not. I I see. I'm thinking that you walked in on like they had like maybe like the last three of an old old line that was no. just sitting there and they cleared it out. I was like, oh, oh he's a brand new figure. Yeah, I came out this year. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, well, that happened. Okay. Check out them. It looks can. cool. He he's cool looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I was like, I'm not gonna go. I, I don't. I really don't like the box. Like, I I don't like those windowless boxes at all. And then, um, I, if I open it, I'm gonna open it and see, show you how it's packed. I I really don't like how it's packed either. Okay. So, yeah, I got that. And 
That was the main thing I got. Did you put it? Did you put the 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 inside on the your any of your um socials so you can see what it looks like? No, I haven't put it up yet, so I'll definitely put it up. Because I wonder if that's a consistent thing, or is that some figures are good and some are bad? Because what is it? Is it the same type of little uh, plastic mold man that is like the shape of the body, or is it something different now? It's the same figure wise, but is like the cardboard is not molded to the body. It's in a, like a recycled feeling bag. And then the hands and extra head or anything like that, they're, they're also in a different kind of little baggie. So it's not held in place? It's just no, like no, a figure? Not at all. No. What? That doesn't make sense. Wait a second. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, right. so that's that's the, box, the weird yeah. thing. See, I I respect when they used to use the, the twine. Yeah. I mean, it was a pain in the ass to get some of it off. Yeah. But like, I mean, twine and cardboard is fine, right? Yeah. To hold it in place so it's not just jiggling around that that sounds odd yeah hmm. i'm not crazy okay. about it not crazy about okay. it well i i i hope somebody comes up with a better solution we'll see because i understand why but again there's, there's better ways to do it i guess yeah and it's all their figures now not just marvel legends it's uh, star wars black series it's the Power Ranger Lightning Collection, it's everything of Hasbro, so that's going to be the continuation of everything. Do you know if other companies started doing that as well? Uh, I heard Mattel's looking into doing it, but uh, Hasbro right now is the only one that does it. Okay, gotcha. Alright. I don't like it. I don't Fixed. like change. Well, I don't like the impending doom of an, an island made of trash <laughs> <laughs> so I think there's there needs to be a middle ground yeah. if you know what I'm saying yeah. um, I did see something that I thought was cool but I, I don't know if it'll work as in I don't know the lifespan because I am a customer of Sony's physical products and they have not this this past generation they have not served me well Okay. So I cannot I cannot talk uh, glowingly about the controllers, but I saw the experimental one. I don't know if you saw it, but I think that's like super cool. Uh, there's like an experimental controller that they it's called Project Leonardo. Yeah. And it's for PS5. Yeah, I, I was looking at that. Mm-hmm. So the they initially put it out as like the number one thing this thing is for is is going to be accessibility yeah and so when you look at it i you you can't even tell what the hell it is it looks like a joystick with like a disc with all the buttons on it yeah but it also seems if they when you scroll on the pictures and whatnot you can see that it has uh it's modular which means you can take it apart yeah and rearrange the buttons in any way shape or form you can it does not it is like a hub for with buttons on it it looks yeah. like um i mean in some way it looks like it's a fight a fight <laughs> a weird fight stick yeah i was looking at that because it has the joystick and shit because like there's there's pictures of you can extend the stick away from it and it could be real i guess when you put all of the buttons on it, it has like this like a UFO with like a stick on the side, but then I see in the in one of the, the the so there's four pictures of this thing. Again, this is supposed to be super super experimental, so there are not these things in the wild, right? And nobody has one. Yeah, like it's just uh, the only way you're gonna see it is if you look at Sony's social media or I guess any news site that has it. But there's there's two of them, and it looks like the one side has like the thumbstick shape. Yeah. But then they show a PlayStation 5 controller in the middle. And it's not uniform in size. Like, it's huge. Okay. So it looks like maybe you rest your hand on that one. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you can, can, like, control it that way. Which, so, I don't know. It just seems super, like, not traditional. Yeah. I wonder 
Um, I wonder what their main use is for. I think they say it's for VR first. Yeah. But like, who the hell's gonna who's gonna take this? That's what I want to know. Who's gonna be the one that runs with this and tries to use it? Well, I think um, games like Last of Us and God of War already has those kind of uh, adjustments. I don't think you quite understand what this thing looks like. No, I saw, I seen what it looked like, but you'd be I surprised. Get you say they people, have. I, you'd be surprised how people like learn how to play a game. No, 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 no. But I'm talking about this is physically not a controller. Is yeah. what I'm talking about. I'm saying like, do you have, do you have like a thought of who could take advantage of something that's so different? Like it's, it's not literally, it's not a controller. Maybe like. Like Gran Turismo, like a car game, some things puzzle wise, things like that. Like this thing just looks like a an alien device. Probably is. I don't want to be I don't want to be that guy with the with the hair from the <laughs> from the species <laughs> that just says aliens. I'm saying, man, we went from a cassette tape to a, a, a shiny disc, so I won't be surprised. Like it, it, it does look weird. Um, like they have a video for it, which yeah. I think is cool. And they have people, and I guess they have disabled gamers talking about what it could help with. So that's cool because it looks like this, is like the first first time I'm seeing a first party and get yeah. like actually say, you know what, let's try. Well, I will. Listen, listen. All right. There was the connect. Okay. But <laughs> but hear me out. It wasn't good. Yeah. It wasn't good. Can do you do you have connect stories, Merck? Nope. Did your work? Nope. <laughs> I didn't buy none of that shit. Oh, you never got one? I had a connect, I never used it. I oh. used it to yell at my Xbox to turn on. That's about it. Did it work? Yeah. All right, well, my niece well, played the dance game, so I, I never touched them. All right, well, at least you can say that you have experience with the voice capabilities yeah. and the connect. The connect would turn your device on, so there you go. Yeah. So I mean, I hope this thing turns out well. Yeah, me too. Like I would like to see something different. I mean, not just for people like hey maybe this actually uh, this actual other way of playing a game might be innovative yeah that'd be cool that's cool because xbox already has something similar to it does it look like an alien nah it's different it has like two round disc and shit it looks like it's a little bit more simpler yeah, that, like that's what I'm saying. I like this. Seems like they're trying to put money into it. Yeah, like I'm talking about, like they're gonna go all in. So like, all right, I'll, I want to see somebody do some weird stuff. Yeah. So I look forward to Project Leonardo having a real name in the future. Yes, maybe Michelangelo. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. It looks like it might be Chrome Dome, actually. Chrome Dome. <laughs> But yeah, that's good. Hey, more more gamers, the better. And then I know it's not raining yeah. games, which is fine because I don't yeah. about like that. But uh, I don't know if you're interested in it. What is supposed to be coming out soon this year? And it is the um, the game by the people that made Neo, which is basically Team Ninja. Yeah. So, Ninja Gaiden also, um, and it is Wolan. Was it Fallen Dynasty? Oh yeah, I did saw the trailer for that. It looks pretty good. I, I know there's a PS5 demo. I don't. I do not believe there is one for anything else. Okay. I think it's exclusive to PC. Okay. Let me see. No, it says it's gonna be on everything. I don't know why the hell the demo is not on PC though. Yeah. Because I need to see the. I need to see the demo. But that's supposed to be coming out uh, March 3rd, which is actually so. Nice. Do you know when the the next Yakuza game is supposed to come out? Uh, the Ishii, the Like a Dragon Ishii is supposed to come out February 18th. I'm, I'm, I have to okay. mark that on my calendar. 
And then I know Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Is same. actually the same. Okay, it's the 24th. Yeah. All right, all right. I'll be getting Yakuza. I'll be getting the Like a Dragon game. Yeah. Oh, Death Space is... Oh, wow. Death Space is like two... No, three weeks. Yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm interested in looking at what that is because I'm not playing it because it's too scary. I want to play it. I it looks messed up. Long time. It still looks messed up. Yeah. Is that space messed up? Yes, it still looks messed up. So. It does. I'm, I, like the next one, I think is like a dragon Ishi. I'm waiting for that one. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else comes out. And Spider Man later this year. That's the only two I'm like really like. Those are the ones that are must haves and everything else. Like if they're a decent price and shit like that. Oh crap. Yeah. Oh, she probably later this year too. Yeah. That's in summertime though. Ah, uh, yes. Was that June or July? Something like that. June. Oh, this June? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. What is Diablo? Uh, I think May. Okay. Well, all right. So there's something at least leading up to everything. Because what, Spider-Man is what, September or something? Yes. Or is it before that? Uh, September, supposedly, but again, it's not fully official. Okay. Well, there you go. Before the, before the end of the year. Yeah, and the Sonic is good, but not um, the, they they don't really delay games, so that's a good thing. They're not like one of those workhorses either. They don't force their people to work and shit like that. They give them like Christmas off and all that shit. So Sonic is a good company. I hope they take their time, but I I get they they don't really delay games. So if they say September, most likely it's September. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. It's good stuff. It's been a very quiet week, so I don't really have much this week. Coming off the, the holidays and shit like that. Okay, gotcha. Did you... What was the... From the, the game in Rage, what was the, the challenge for the last one? Um... So I challenged Tommy to Lego Batman three because mm-hmm. he never played any of the Lego games, and I want to give him something that he will like, but also could go through easily. Is the Lego Batman three? Um, I honestly forgot mine. I, I did mine a while ago, so that's the reason why. Um, I'll tell you right now, Dead Rising. He picked that, or he picked that for oh, me. He just gave the choice of three. He picked, uh, he picked Dead Rising for me. Okay. I played the did game have, before. Do you have a challenge for you to do something? No, game? no, just to beat it. Okay, okay. Um, so what he doesn't know is that I fucking mastered that damn game because I had I had it and I hated it, but I mastered it. I also got the I got the one thousand achievement points on that game. It was a bitch to do. Very, very, very annoying to do. But I got the Mega Man suit and all that shit. I I think the one thing I did one time and never did it again was the zombie thing. Yeah. We had to drive the car. Mm-hmm. And then switch to another car. And then switch to another car. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep doing that over and over again to kill all those zombies. Yeah. And I did once and I had to... I, I played with the Mega Buster and was like, "All right, this is cool." I just, yeah. <laughs> I think that was the last time I ever, I ever tried to play that game like seriously because I've I've touched it before because, what did it come out? Uh, it came out again. Yeah. And then it was on PC and I was like, you know what? Let me try it now because I remember. All right, I don't think you remember because it was such a long time ago when it first started, but. When Xbox 360 first came out, yeah. not everybody had um, HD televisions. So you remember? I don't know if you if you remember or if you had an HD TV, TV early. Yeah. But do you remember the, te- the the font? Yes, I remember. It was like extremely small. 
it was yeah like so it was made for HDTVs that i guess you could it would look bigger i, I don't know but i know it would be sharper right yeah but on well, on regular televisions that shit was mad small i remember that because i think um when i first got my 360 i had like the sony Vega tv the big ass fucking flat screen mm-hmm. i had one of those and then i slowly went to a different tv but that one yeah you couldn't read shit yeah, I gotta, gotta guess what it is. I just went to Game Facts and I like, got the information of the game and how to fucking run it. I, I got tired of fuck, trying to read it. It was it, it was bad for that, but like yeah. it was still fun. It was alright. It was a fun game. Uh, very repetitive after a while, but it was a fun game. I wish the Mega Man Buster was earlier in the game. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Like I, I don't like when those big weapons are like that far into the game, or it makes you have to replay it. I'm like, I don't want to play it with this big weapon now. Oh, let's got time to go, but yeah, yeah, Scott Steiner was a douche. Interrupts the show all the time. Um. I do the, the, before we change to I guess to the movie, but I do remember about that was the only thing I remember learning about it was that they had hidden like hidden weapons in that game. Yeah, and if you had the the best way to play that game was if you knew where they were and just go directly to that. Take that, <laughs> grab a skateboard, and that's how you play the game. Yeah. And the drinks like there was this thing that they was oddly important where you mix some of the food together in yeah. a blender but there's only like one blender in like every area so you gotta remember where it is yeah and it was like okay one of the one of the things you blend makes you run like four times as fast as you run yeah so you had to make that and then carry a bunch of those with you everywhere because it, it, there was a lot they tried to do with that game but it was it, it, it wasn't explained very well. Yeah. I'll just put it that way. I think the, sequ- the sequels all. did good. Yeah, because I think they took most of that. T- <laughs> they yeah. took most of that out. And then it, part two was stupid. I like that they let you combine all the weapons and it made like really, really just dumb stuff. Like the wheelchair with the flamethrower on it and the teddy bear. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. And the bucket with the drills in it. Like yeah. it, it, it was dumb. It was. I think that was the good decision. I don't. I never played three. I never played four. I only played two and three. I never played four. Do you, do you remember three? I think three was an Xbox 360 exclusive. No, it was Xbox no, One. Xbox One, yeah. It was a launch exclusive. That's the yeah. only reason I never touched it. Yeah, it was a launch exclusive. I did play it. It Not was memorable. okay. Okay. I don't think there was a four. No, there's a no. There's a, unfortunately there was a. Four. There is. Okay. Mark, let me tell you something. <laughs> they didn't stop after three. Yeah. They should have. St- <laughs> <laughs> Man, we forgot to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. Shout outs to Uncle Stinky. Um, but they made a four. It's not good. No. It pl- so mechanically, I think it's good, right? Yeah. The controls and stuff. Like, if you take it out of the fact that it's still got. A lot of they tried to shoehorn a lot of stuff in that yeah. game. Like they they were made they made the guy from part one come back, but then the game engine it looks too realistic, so it's not it doesn't have that real janky charm of the first one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, ah. story's not what you're really there for. Yeah, you there for killing zombies and making crazy ass weapons. Yeah, basically. They kept that. They kept that. So, they should have stopped that, too. (laughs) That's true. That's true. Um, And I guess that's the theme for this, because our superhero comic book movie of this week, superhero movie from 2008, so we were scary bound, movie people. Yeah. So we were bound. To, that three. Yeah. So we were bound to get a spoof movie eventually. They should have stopped that three. It's the lesson. <laughs> no, they just wanted the money. Like the Waynes didn't do. The Waynes only did one and two. 
they just kept the franchise going after that, and they should have just not let it happen. They wanted the money. Because that thing with Leslie Nielsen and uh, Charlie Sheen was in three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that was bad. Kevin Hart was they in just, it too. Well, he's in this movie as well. Yeah. He is this. He is the not really lovable sidekick, I guess. Yeah. Um, so this is a superhero movie from 2008. It's PG-13. It's an hour and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Let's see when it came out. In the U.S. Uh, the 28th of March, it says. Um, it is directed by Craig Mazin, Mazin. Yeah. Um, he did scary. He did scary movie. He produced scary movie four. See, he should have been dead a long time ago. Let me see. See, this is what happened. Yeah, I don't see anything else before the specials, and we saw that. Oh, he's actually directing the first episode of Last of Us. Well, he's still here. <laughs> oh, he did that specials movie. That's that what I just said. Yeah, I'm looking at it. He directed the specials. Oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> but that was written. But see, that was good. That was written by. It was decent. That was written by James Gunn, though. Yeah. This was not written by James Gunn. This was also written by him as well. Oh, yeah. So. Not. Like this guy ever heard much. Not. Not. Not the best, we'll say. But also to the point, not related to the first two movies. So yeah. there you go. Um, it stars Drake Bell as Rick Riker. And I just want to go to Drake Bell. Is Drake Bell is the Drake from Drake and Josh? Yes, he is. He also talks uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Okay. Well, so he he has some superhero. Is that before, after, or after this? Okay. So he has some superhero. I guess this is his, his superhero start. Yeah. But the thing is, like for such a a known character, right? A known guy, like he just wasn't that good. No. In this movie, um. But anyway, uh, Sarah Paxton is Jill Johnson. Christopher McDonald as Lou Landers. AKA Shooter McGavin. That's all I know him as. Okay. He's in Happy Gilmore. He's the bad guy in the Happy Gilmore. Okay, okay. Leslie Nielsen as Uncle Albert. Yeah, Leslie Nielsen. That's the only thing I liked about this movie. Is Leslie Kevin Nielsen. Hart as Trey. He annoyed me. I don't think he was really around enough for me to even care yeah. <laughs> Marion Ross as Aunt Lucille which I thought she was pretty funny it's like this then again the stuff that happened to her was yeah. funny yeah. Uh, Ryan Hansen as Lance Landers yes Keith David as Chief of Police yeah Chief, Keith David uh, Brent Spiner as Dr. Storm Strom excuse me uh, Robert George as Dr. Hawking uh, Jeffrey Tambor as Dr. Whitby. Um, let's see. Oh, those are my people. Robert Hayes, Blaine Riker, Riker. Nicole Sullivan as Julia Riker. Uh, Tracy Morgan as Professor Xavier. Yeah. Regina Hall as Mrs. Xavier. Yeah, Marissa Lauren as Storm. Craig Bierko as Wolverine. Which apparently he yeah, had more scenes as deleted scenes. Yeah. Uh, Richard Tillman as leg shaving Wolverine, which is <laughs> interesting that they're two different people. Uh, Simon Rex as the Human Torch. Dan Castellaneta as Carlson. Voice of Homer. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have a lot of characters, actually. Pamela Anderson as Invisible Girl. Yeah, he voiced uh, Homer, Grandpa. He you know, he voices a bunch of characters. Who else is there? There's not really, not really too many more people. That yeah, the are rest of are note. not really that known. Just trying to see the, the director Craig Mason is in here as OKI okay, Comeback, random person. 
All right. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I, one of these movies, you usually have an ensemble cast, which is just like a bunch of cameos and things like that with a, a few central characters. This one is Drake Bell, who's basically like the Peter Parker equivalent in this movie, since that's the, kind of the origin story they go with, with where a mutant dragonfly or genetically modified dragonfly bites him in the neck. Yep. And they have when he goes on the school trip to, for some reason they went to the school trip where they all literally they, they just literally call them genetically modified uh, animals. And then just he's like he, Peter Parker. But it's so dumb. <laughs> the reason, they, like, why would they like this school? This school has no reason to go there. I, like, it's not necessarily shown that they're like, oh man, this school is for gifted students and like they have like this uh, honors uh, science class or something they basically just show you that this character is like just a regular ass regular student like not even a nerd really just a regular ass jabroni like his character is like beyond dull and I guess the Flash Thompson equivalent his girlfriend which is the Gwen Stacy equivalent yeah. because it's not Mary Jane yeah, that's correct. Um, and he's got a huge crush on her for some. I, well, you just open. They just open with that, and he gets yeah. on a bus, and then they, the Flash Thompson guy's there, and he's in one group. Yeah. And then that's when you're introduced to, um, what's his name? Kevin Hart. The sidekick. Yeah. Kevin Hart's character. And then, like, I mean, at least to the credit. The jokes start early, so it's not you know if you're never given the sense that oh this is made like a serious movie no 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 it's one of those one of those it's just that they they don't hit they don't all hit and it's too many misses and not enough hits yes 100%. so it's just kind of just a lot of wet farts a few of them just go on <laughs> for way too long yeah. Like there's a this see the one thing I do like about this movie is that I can spot out like multiple times through the movie though where it does make me laugh because like one of the quick little side things that some uh, character says like in the beginning when they like he's saying all the groups you know you know school is very clicky it's like there's the jocks there's the the nerds there's the the goths and then there's, there's the like the beat up I think beat up Kevin group and he goes um. They just a hand just comes out and punches the main character. And I'm just like, that's pretty funny. And then his friend, as he's telling more of the story, because the, the main character is talking about the girl, like Kevin Hart just punches him and he goes, Am I in? <laughs> but they answer him. They just go, No. And he goes, Damn. And I'm just like, it's it not all of the, the jokes before that hit, yeah. but that one little part made me laugh because it was a consistent joke. And I'm like, okay well that's that's kind of funny so like it's it's full of those moments where there's like some of the sustained gags that are little little bit parts yeah are way more funny than the actual main ass story and the main ass funny gags that they try to hit you over the head with because yeah. yeah it's not that funny nope it's like a waka waka fuzzy joke yeah I mean, the story is what he. So it's basically Peter Parker, except it's a dragonfly. So that's his character, the the dragonfly. Yeah. And he's supposed to be. His dream is to be able to fly, as a superhero. That's his thing. And he keeps saying, "You will be a true hero when you learn how to fly." So that's. He goes on, basically a wacky adventure and becomes a. I guess super of, of, I guess you see him as a full fledged superhero, right? Yeah. yeah. So really, like that's his whole motivation is, I guess I have to be a superhero in order to, to to fly, yeah. now, because then I will be the ultimate hero. Once you get all the, once you get all the powers, they told me you once you be able to fly, that's it, you the man. So, that's it. He goes to like, the Xavier Institute. 
that has a pretty funny scene with Professor X, his bald wife, bald yeah. wheelchair wife, and the bald wheelchair children, and the bald wheelchair baby. It's like, all right, all right. Yeah, not everything is funny, but that's pretty dumb. And the Wolverine yeah. shape of the egg, so. Yeah. Which is the other thing that made me laugh was the ability of this movie to have the names of the characters. Yeah. So, like... Yeah, like you said, some of them were spelled differently, but if you don't, if you don't have the captions on, or you don't read some of the signage, like you just hear them say Professor Xavier Wolverine, yeah. all that stuff. like so. So where's this going in your list? What? Uh, two point five. Two point five. So your two point five consist of Daredevil. Uh, Spider-Man 3, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Super Surfer, uh, X-Men 3, and Underdog. Uh, usually when I rate them, I say it's because I have a chance. Oh, oh I'll probably watch this again. No, no, I don't want to watch any of those ever. <laughs> <laughs> You just saying that reminded me, man. Yeah. Have you watched that? I don't want to watch that shit yeah. again. Uh, just put it at the end. Okay. So I love the last one. Hero movie. Two. Two five. Um. It's just reminding me how bad the jokes were with the Human Torch. Yeah. Legitimately thought he was on fire and then jumped off the building. Yeah. And it wasn't a joke, and I was like. You know, I'm gonna give it a two, and I actually like Zoom Academy more than this. Yeah, I can yeah. see it. The, the the little girl was more funnier than this whole movie. Yeah. So yeah, I'll give it a two. All right, next movie on our list is we are starting the MCU with Iron Man. Okay. So we got that. Um, I give you a rundown of the other movies we got. But Iron Man's next. We got Incredible Hulk right after that. We have The Wanted, Hancock, Hellboy 2, Dark Knight, Punisher War Zone, The Spirit, Push, Watchmen, Warping Origins, Surrogates, Whiteout, The Fendor, Paper Man, Losers, Kick Ass. What? What? Year is that last movie? Yeah, what year is Kick Ass? 2010. Okay, okay, all right. So, okay, gave that means that's that means I'm just thinking about how fast we went through like 2007. I think, I think There's that one, I think that was the shortest one, the shortest amount year with the uh, least amount of superhero movies. I think, um, I think we only had like oh, one six? or two. Oh, six, oh, six was short. three. Oh, 06 was three. Okay. Because 07 has one, two, three, four, five, six. Five. So it was 06. 06. It was 06. Yeah, 06 only uh, had three. And 08 has how many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. That's a, that's a jump. <laughs> just, yeah, just, dude, nice. that's a joke. Because uh, you realize the movies are getting better. Iron Man was very successful. Incredible Hulk was successful. Um, but just you don't think about how many started coming out. Dark Knight, like around the same time. Yeah, and then the Dark Knight was really successful. Yeah, yeah. Hellboy Two was really good too. Hancock, I didn't care for. Wanted, I didn't care for. Punisher Warzone was more straight to DVD. It was in selected theaters, but not everyone watched it. So when yeah, it came on I DVD, it got us all hype. All when, was, oh. when was Thor? Thor was 2011. Wow, it's just outside. Uh, uh, I, I don't think too fondly back on the first Thor. I, I like the first Thor. Okay. I thought it was okay. It was alright, yeah, yeah. I thought it was, it was okay. Great. There was not. I, I feel like the MCU. There was not. There was no really bad movies. There was just movies that were okay or amazing. It was one of the two. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So Iron Man is Iron Man is amazing. <laughs> That's a good ass movie. 
So yeah, we're kicking off the MCU with Iron Man and Incredible Hulk. I, I think, thinking back at it, I think Iron Man is the MCU movie I've seen the most. I think it's tied with Captain America for how many times? Like I think I've seen both well, of them like three, no, four times. Well, Captain America's gonna win then because you're gonna see it one more time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Iron Man. I'm very fond of Iron Man. I actually liked Iron Man. And Iron Man was a big risk because Marvel was not like putting Iron Man in that forefront like like everyone else put with mm-hmm. this movie. So Iron Man was never a forefront character. He was always there. He was in Avengers stuff like that, but he was not the marketable character. As in today's age, Spider Man is the most profitable character. So in that sense, but mm-hmm. I made Iron Man a household name though. Yes, sir. We got uh. A lot of movies left. We are at number 44 out of 152. Okay. Gotcha. Because I added Black Adam and Wakanda Forever to it. Wakanda Forever is the last one, right? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Well, until February, and then Ant Man Quantum Manium goes on there. Oh, it's actually going to be out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of good stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Okay, that's it. Thank you for listening to another episode of the It Gets Better I Swear podcast. Make sure you check us out anywhere and everywhere. Red Cyclone Inc. That is Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. That is YouTube. That is SoundCloud. That is Spotify. And we got a WordPress. So check it out. Where you at, Mark? Follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, Cyclone, and Twitch, or Mark the Mike. Follow my TikTok of Mark the Mike. I'm doing a lot of like figure photography and beer posts on there. So definitely check that out when you get a chance and give me a like and follow. Um, follow me. Uh, follow Tenacious T. Uh, Tenacious T, Toxic Wop, whatever the fuck you want to call him. He's the man with many names. And he has a podcast called Popcorning. Give him a, ch- give him a like. Give him a check out. Tell him we sent you. And um, give him some love. Uh, yeah, and always remember, follow the Jinkies.